and hi everyone. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Nahim Biru Zaiman. My matrix number 066058. Today I would like to talk about how to reduce climate change. Nowadays, people around the world have been focusing on how to face climate change. Climate change is a major global challenge today. The world is becoming more vulnerable due to this change. For your information, climate change refers to long-term shift in temperature and weather patterns. This shift may be natural but since the 18th century, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas which produce heat-trapping gases. Besides that, the direct consequences of man-made climate change include such as rising maximum temperature, rising sea levels and higher ocean temperature. Everyone can help uh, limit climate change from the way we travel to the electricity we use and the food we eat, we can make a difference. Starting with these four actions can help to tackle the climate crisis. First of all, regarding the air conditioning, living in a tropical country can be unbearably hot even at night. So you probably sleep with the air conditioning turned on. But did you know that our body requires less cooling when we are asleep? Assume that you sleep 8 hours a night. That is 240 hours of air conditioning usage monthly. Using the sleep mode or timer functions could greatly reduce your energy consumption. You could also consider setting the air conditioning to a temperature of only 25 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, air conditioners run at their optional perform levels and are not working to cut this grid less power drain. Secondly, we can hang dry laundry. There may be one area where you are actually conserving resources during this pandemic. Find yourself wearing the same pair of jeans all week when you would normally be turning to your outfit uh, daily for school or work. Maybe you have cut down a lot uh, or two per week. In the way, electric dryers comprise 5% of the typical household electricity usage. So every time you can hang dry your laundry on an outdoor clothesline or indoor drying rack, you will save energy save money and reduce your carbon footprint. Thirdly, we can use natural light. Draw up the curtain and open your windows. Most of the time, you will not even need to switch on your light till sunset come around. If you are afraid of your house getting too hot in the afternoon, you can invest in a translucent thermal curtain to keep the heat out. Other than that, uh, we must keep plant at home. Then give out water during the transpiration process, keeping the air in your room fresh and cool on a hot day. Not only that, but you can also save energy by leaving the light switch off. You will not need to turn on the air conditioning too. You can also get indoor plants to style up your home interior. Lastly, we also can pull the plug if we do not use it. We are not referring to the medical usage of the term here. You have surely been nagged to switch off your gadgets or and appliances when not in use, but you may not have been asked to unplug them. Did you know that you are still wasting electricity when you leave your device plugged in or on standby mode? In fact, this seemingly trivial action can account for 12% of your electricity usage. One way to resolve this is to plug your home electronic into power strips. When they are not in use, simply switch off the power and disconnect the main plug. This helps you save up to 30% on your electricity bill. In conclusion, we all understood that our earth is sick and unhealthy. We as humans need to heal the earth. Climate change has caused many problems for humans, but we humans who make climate change happen. Many people have died because of disease or disaster. It also affects the economies of the country. However, we need to reduce them by using less gasoline, recycling and humans should help to reduce global warming instead of making the earth's temperature increase. Our generation should take, start taking care of the earth because in the next generation, they will suffer if we do not reduce climate change. Therefore. 
climate change is a serious issue now. That's all from me. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum.